What up, good people? And welcome to another episode of This Is Dope. Shaman Ahmad here to give you a little insight and perspective into things that I've run across throughout the week that I find dope. Today's video is about the Powerbeats Pro wireless headphones from Beats slash Apple. Great headphones. I've been waiting on these for a while, at least to get my hands on a pair. And finally did it over the weekend. Uh, let me just give you a little background into my personal headphone needs and requirements. So I have been a, I would say an avid AirPod supporter and fan since they were first announced. Uh, Pre-ordered them, got them first gen, very excited about them. Uh, they just worked. Sound quality is adequate, functionality superb, uh, ease of use superb, um, portability superb. Uh, really, really very big fan. The second generation came out. A little bit longer battery life, which is everyone loves longer battery life, right? So, and also, you know, wireless charging, which really wasn't a big deal to me, but was still a kind of cool feature to have. So you may be asking yourself, you know, why then if I love them so much, why would I be looking for a new set of headphones? Well, a little while ago, I started this uh, initiative to really, let's just say, get in better shape. I started going to the gym more. With that, I, you know, I sweat a lot naturally. So with me going to the gym, working out, there's a lot of sweat involved. A lot of sweat getting in my ear and all over, you know, my eyes, so forth and so on. Well... With the AirPods in my ear, I already have pretty weird shaped ears, I think. And so, uh, with the sweat in my ear, the AirPods never really seem to fit in there and set right in there while I'm sweating. So I was constantly doing this number, really trying to reset them in there, making sure they didn't fall out. They never fell out, but I, I'd lost an AirPod before in a different experience and was a little paranoid about that. Um, whenever they felt a little loose. So what I wound up doing was was using a pair of Bose QC235s, I believe is the model, the over-the-ear gray ones with noise canceling. Uh, I received a pair from a previous organization I worked for, and they sounded great. They did. Sounded great, look, you know, worked great, looked great, great for working out, and they, they just worked. So... You know, I really had no complaints there. However, as I would mentioned in a uh, previous episode, I really want to minimize the tech I carry and maximize the functionality, right? And that's really my goal in a lot of these things. So what I had to wind up doing is going ahead and, uh, you know, started looking for ways to accomplish this. It seemed like... I don't know, maybe a week or so after I really started thinking about this, that these uh, Powerbeats Pro wireless headphones were quote-unquote announced, even though there was really no official announcement. It's kind of rumors that it just popped up on the site. But, um, you know, once I knew they were available for pre-order, I, you know, I, I didn't really think they were going to be as hot of a seller as they were or the, the supply would be as constrained as it was. Well, I figured it's not an iPhone, it's headphones, eh. So I didn't wake up at 3 a.m. and get on and pre-order. You know, I woke up my normal time, you know, went about my day normally. Uh, after I'd done a couple of conference calls, you know, banged out a couple of emails, finished up a, cu a few spreadsheets, then um, I went ahead and, you know, ordered it just off Apple's site, thinking, or attempted to order off Apple's site, thinking that, hey, I'm just going to be able to get them. Well, when I logged on to order, lead time was like three, four, five weeks. I'm not patient. There was no way I was waiting that long. So I decided to try to wait till they got in store. And over the weekend, finally, I noticed them in store. I was out at the Linux Square Mall in Atlanta, Georgia at the Apple Store there. Um, just kind of browsing as I've been known to do. And bang, saw them there, decided to pick them up. Was super excited. I've been using them for about three days now and uh, really have enjoyed the experience. Here are my impressions and, um, and my experience of 
with these uh, of using these Powerbeats Pro wireless headphones and kind of a slight compare and contrast between those and my experience with the AirPods. So these are the Powerbeats Pro wireless headphones by Beats slash Apple. And these are your traditional AirPods. Well, these actually are the Gen 2. These aren't the first gens, but these are AirPods. I brought my AirPods out so that you could kind of see the comparison as far as a, uh, from a size perspective, right? So as you can see here, this case is much bigger, much thicker. See all the way around, right? They do, however, have these same connectors. Lightning cable here, lightning port, lightning port here, right? I wish Apple would go ahead and adopt USB-C already and all of their devices, but that's a conversation for another day. So you have here the smaller AirPods. Very portable, uh, very easy to use, and fit in your pocket, click onto a belt. Really just built for on-the-go, ease of use, you know, just quick access. Uh, very easy to open. You flip these up. You have the individual AirPods here. Put one in one ear, put one in the other, and you keep it moving. Um, my gripe, I don't say gripe, my only issue I ever had with the AirPods really was the touch controls. I could not really... Uh, utilize, you know, tapping one AirPod to do one thing, tapping it so many times to do the other. It just never worked out right for me. Maybe I'm just not coordinated enough. That's a strong possibility. But I always wound up controlling my uh, music from my phone or my Apple Watch. So that was one of the, the drawbacks for me. Um, the other thing is, I said, the sound quality is adequate. But um, after you try these you're not going to want to go back to these from a sound perspective. These have your Beats quality audio, as to be expected, right? The lows hit really well. The mids are, are hit really well. Highs are very clear. Uh, I'm not an audiophile. I'm not one of those you know guys who really sit down and analyze every sound. I just know how I like to listen and hear my music, right? So... That is something that I'm able to do with these. Um, another, I think, a positive aspect of these is this case, while big, very sturdy, right? Very, very sturdy. Very comfortable throwing this in my tech bag. Um, you know, cause that's pretty much what you're gonna, how I'm gonna have to carry them. I'm not, I don't have any pockets that are big enough to stuff these into without looking incredibly weird. But that's not a problem cause I always have my tech bag with me as I stated in a previous video. For those of you who need to carry your headphones in your pocket, they're not going to be as portable. These aren't going to be as portable as these from that perspective. A, another thing I think that's really positive about the uh, Beats uh, headphones is, as you can see, they have the over-the-ear hooks. Those are one of the main features that really, really drew me to these headphones is I had a pair of their predecessors that had the wire attaching the two. But I um, really, you know, I, I, the, the wire used to get on my nerves. The wire used to really bug me. It was really annoying. But with these hooks, I can go ahead. With these hooks, I can go ahead and really just, um, you know, secure them over my ear. It's a really good fit. It, it it feels really well. If you guys notice, I keep opening and closing the case because I already have these things paired to my phone. And I'm actually shooting this video with my Osmo Pocket attached to my iPhone. So, you know, the, the pairing thing keeps popping up. It's just like with iPods. It, it pairs very easy. Functionality is great. Another thing that you will notice uh, from these, I'm going to go ahead and take these out. One out is that you will have the ability to... Um, control the functions of your headphones more I guess it's it's easier on these because you most of the functions you use by pressing the B you're gonna press once to uh, to start your music another time to stop it two times to skip to the next track three times to go to the previous track volume controls right there and then they still have the same auto stop, auto resume feature as the AirPods. You know, when you're listening to something, you take one out of your ear, it'll pause it. You put it back in, it'll start it again. 
that same functionality is there. Um, you'll notice here also they have the rubber tips on here. So the, the, the packaging comes with three extra sets of rubber tips so that you can find a match for your ear because they're designed to seal around your ear while these aren't noise canceling. The ability to have that, that, that foam or that, sorry, that rubber really fit into your ear and create that kind of seal helps insulate the sound and you definitely hear it a lot better. Anyone who's ever tried to listen to AirPods on a plane knows exactly what I'm talking about. They are, um, the, the audio is powered by the sound of the airplane and the outside noise a lot. So that's less of a factor with this. In addition to these will get louder and just the sound quality itself is just so, so, so much better. Let's see. That's the other thing. I got to get used to putting these things in here. AirPods, you just kind of boom, boom, boom. But yeah. Oh, while I'm in here, this is the pairing button. It's a little different than it was on the AirPods. It's actually on the inside of the case. Uh, same thing, though. You can switch easily between... You can switch easily between your your iPhone, your iPad, or any other iOS device you have uh, just by, you know, the normal means, just pressing the button, wait till it flashes again, and then you'll pair it with the other thing. And it just works that way. Or once you've paired it to everything, you kind of go into settings, click connect, click connect. It's just really, really simple, right? So, and, and those, that to me is really, really the the major differences here the experience i've had with these over the past couple of days have been great sounded great um i'm able to accomplish my goal of minimizing tech maximizing functionality so now these are going to be my do everything you know go everywhere all in one um headphones these are these are great um quality build very very sturdy these, uh, I am going to really kind of just place them off to the side and use them uh, here at home. Uh, that's really about it for or as far as my experience with these over the past few days. Uh, great experience. Very, very happy with them so far. Um, it has only been a few days, but they've checked every box I needed them to check. So if you're in the market for some headphones and you're looking for something that you can work out in and kind of have that same ease of use as your AirPods, but much better sound, these are some great headphones. And they are now actually on shelves in the Apple Store. You don't have to wait 3,000 years for them to ship them to you. So that's it. Um, and that, that's all I got. Well, hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully... Uh, that provides you some insight into what my experiences were, what my initial impressions were of the Powerbeats Pro wireless headphones. Uh, I think they're a great set of headphones, great product. Um, not quite as portable as AirPods. Uh, definitely wish that Apple would incorporate USB-C into the Powerbeats Pro. I mean, really, Apple? Come on. You can do it. USB-C. USB-C. But anyway, um, they sound great. I mean, most of Beats headphones sound pretty great. They have that, that, that definitely impactful bass. The mids are great. The highs are great. Um, battery life, great. Uh, case is really sturdy. Great build quality. Just an overall great product. Great job, Apple. Not perfect, but still a, a great, great job. These headphones are now my new everything headphone they're going to be my everyday use headphone as well as my gym headphone my headphones i take to the gym so the the airpods that i have now still love them going to use a lot of them mostly at home uh you know, hook them up to my apple tv and really kind of just use them that way to watch tv uh you know late at night when my kids and wife are asleep and you know i want to turn watch some kind of movie that's loud or whatever right so um that really is it. Uh, you guys may have noticed I have a new background. Uh, I have a couple of creative friends, one of which gave me the recommendation on utilizing my workspace. This is where I work from during my day job. Um, this is I work from home. Utilizing that and uh, also, you know, getting me more natural, better light in here. So shout out to Edward Carter of Visual Renaissance for definitely giving me the pointer 
on that. Um, with those tips and you know other tips, the the production qualities videos will improve. The content will definitely improve. Thank you to everyone who's tuned in so far and has really started this journey with me. Uh, I hope to keep providing you better and better and better, better content. And with that being said, if you have any recommendations or really anything you'd like me to go over or review, please leave a comment below. I will do everything in my power to attempt to uh, review it. If I think it's dope, I'll create a video, upload it. If I don't think it's dope, you know, we can maybe have a conversation about what I didn't like about it um, and kind of give you my own personal feedback. The same goes for any uh, vendors or potential sponsors out there. If you have a product that you would like me to speak on on this channel, uh, I am open to reviewing almost anything. If I like it, I will make an honest video detailing why I think it's a dope product and why I think everyone should check it out. If I don't like it, then I'm, I'm not going to upload and, and, and recommend everybody go check it out. I will provide you feedback on what I found were flaws, but, uh, you know, I'm not into, you know, giving fake feedback. With that being said, thank you to everyone who has really started this journey with me again. Thank you for watching the video. Please click like down below if you like this video. Click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. Click the notification button. If you would be like, like to be notified when I upload new content telling you about the many dope things I run into throughout the week. With all that being said, thank you once again, everyone. Have a great day, and I am out of here.